Here at home, there's been yet another postponement in the COSAS 4 case this time to give the prosecution enough time to merge the cases against some of those involved. Alleged apartheid Askari Tlomedi Mfalapisa made a short appearance in the High Court in Johannesburg on Monday. He's facing three counts of murder and one of attempted murder after the 1982 bombing of four COSAS students at a mine dump in Krugersdorp. The National Director of Public Prosecutions wants the person who detonated the bomb, Christian Rorich, to join Mfala Pizza on trial. Masiko Ratlaka reports. On Tuesday, the case against the man who allegedly detonated the bombs that killed three of the Cossas four students in 1982 is expected to appear before the Kachiso Magistrates Court. The National Prosecuting Authority says it's for this reason that the trial against apartheid Askari to made Mfala Pizza was postponed to Wednesday. The directive from the director of public prosecutions is that uh, both actions should be joined and be tried together. So um, Mr. Rodriguez will be up, uh, appearing in Cajeso tomorrow for his matter to be transferred to the High Court so that he joins the same trial as uh, Mr. Mfalapit. The NPA has also apologized to the families for the delay. Well, we, we are on record as the NPA having said uh, the delays in uh, prosecuting all these uh, apartheid atrocities was an injustice to the families, and we still maintain that as the NPA. Uh, but there are processes that we also need to observe as the NPA, as uh, members of the legal fraternity. So we are really pleading with the families. We understand their pain. It's, it has been a long wait, uh, more than 40 years of waiting for, to see justice. Um, but we really would like to plead with them to bear with us. The affected families say although they welcome the latest developments, they are tired of the postponements. We also aware of the fact that uh, they also made another breakthrough, which welcome, of having arrested uh, Christian Rorish, who according to the evidence who got through the TRC and the statements, is the one who detonated. So that's also a welcome development, that we're getting people now going to get near, as nearer to what we want, the truth, and what happened. Mm -hmm. So in that way, we welcome it as a positive development, that the, old, um, the second one. Uh, obviously, there are also other names that are coming around, like where is Mama Sela and them. So we had a meeting today, and then we said to them, no, okay, fine. We are going to allow you to do your part, but you must understand that these continuous postponements are having a very serious, terrible, emotional, psychological pain on us. Tumedim Falapita is currently out on warning and is expected back in the dock on Wednesday. Masekho Rashlaka at the High Court in Johannesburg.